Hey there, this is Rich Pav. Hello from Japan.com. I'm walking around at night with sunglasses on. I look cool. I shaved my head all by myself. I shaved off my mustache. I'm looking mean. Mean. Looking mean. Like I could kill. I'm not gonna kill anybody. I'm just gonna walk around, see who we can talk to. I'm in Akasaka tonight, and uh, it's a Tuesday, so there's not much happening. So I figure uh, I'll do one of these walk up to somebody and give them shit things. And instead, this time of doing a, instead of doing a podcast, I'm gonna do a video cast. So let's see how it goes. Let me. Let me give you a little tour of what Akasaka looks like at night. It's actually, it's kind of pretty, isn't it? Kind of, kind of wish you were here. Let's see. Uh, relaxation massage. You've got your... You can do your feet for 3,000 yen, do your head and your face for 3,000 yen. This is like a, a shiatsu thing where they, they do the pressure points. There's aromatherapy for 8,000 yen for an hour and uh, there's a facial massage 8,000 yen for an hour. How can you massage your face for an hour? My god, it would be like getting a big shot of Novocaine, wouldn't it? Hmm, I think that's let me flash it back to here. I think that's, that place is a real massage place, not the kind of place where they concentrate on your bulbous nani parts. So here, right here, we have a Nigerian. How you doing? Yeah, I do, right? Are you, uh, are you a real yeah, Nigerian? Sorry, 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 sorry. What? Stop that, stop that, don't do that. Stop what? You don't know me, you are just trying to video me, which is not good. You understand, sir? Just put you on this thing, your camera in my face. I can see it. You okay. don't know me. You do know me? What's your name? Do you know me? What's your name? But do you know me? If you want to tell you me your me? name. You know, everybody's easy. Everybody's Nigerian. What? Yeah. Everybody's, everybody's in Nigeria. I can take you down to the police station right now. You, understand you could. I can do so. Wow. You can just see me on the road. So I'm in Nigeria. You start video me. Okay. You don't do that. All right. Yep. Okay. So... I forgot it's bad manners to point a camera at a Nigerian because you steal his soul. So uh, I'm in Roppongi now and uh, I'm at the Hard Rock Cafe in Roppongi. I look like a movie star, don't I? I'm going to see if anybody thinks I'm a movie star. How you doing? Fine. Where are you from? Australia. Australia. I'm wearing sunglasses at night. Do you think I was a movie star? No. Oh, shit. <laughs> it didn't work. Fuck. Just an idiot with sunglasses on at night, you know. Fuck. <laughs> no, I did actually think. Okay. Oh, some Americans do this now, you know, of course. Which one? Oh, you know, Ken O'Reilly. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. You know, the sunglasses. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Okay, so you want to it's just push the top button. Okay. Okay, here we go. Ready? All right, turn out bell. Okay, this one. I suppose you might as well do it. Uh, I don't see how to get it on. Janelle? How do I get the special button on? See ya. Alright. Okay, we're doing with this camera now. Oh, it's, I gotta stand back a little more. Are we get ready? Oh, the flash didn't go off. No, no, it didn't go off. Go ahead. Interrupted here. All right, here we go. Here we go. That's a really weak flash. Oh, you know what? I'm a no, I didn't. Okay.
Well, that didn't work out. Take it easy, man. I'll there you go. You Can I ask you a question? You're talking about the time for the car. Did you think I was a movie star with your sunglasses on? Uh, no, I thought yeah, it looked a bit dark for you to have those on, yeah. No good, sorry. Okay, I wasn't fooling anybody with those sunglasses, so I'm just going to take them off because I kept bumping into stuff. But anyway, uh, you know, the thing about, you know, you go anywhere in the world and there's a McDonald's. And, and next to it, there's a Starbucks. You get a Starbucks? Okay, so people want to see just, you know, regular, typical stuff in Japan. So, it's a mailbox. Put your mail in. I'm not filming it because uh, I learned my lesson, but it's like every 10 feet, a Nigerian walks up to me and tries to get it, tries to get to me in a, into a titty bar. But uh, there, you know, there's, a, there's a lot of bars around here uh, and cafes and stuff like that. We've got here. Let's see here. We've got uh, TGI Fridays over here. And uh, the, the mailbox was down there. In case you want to mail anything when you're in Japan, you can go there and uh, mail something. Right, now I'm, uh, I'm in front of the biggest landmark in Dopongi, Ropongi Towers. It's, uh, I think it's like 59 stories tall, and uh, it has a lot of uh, office space, like all of the who's who companies in Japan. Are, are in this Roppongi Towers, uh, Yahoo, and Lehman Brothers, and what not Microsoft, they're in Shinjuku. But uh, there's some good bars uh, around here, so I'm going to visit one of the bars, uh, Heartland. And what else is there? Well, let's take a look. I don't know why, but there's this big ass, ugly spider on the ground floor of. Uh, the Rokongi Towers. Looks like it's going to shoot lasers out of his ass and kill the people walking by, but anyway, that's what it looks like. It's not, it's not very Japanese, is it? Big ass scary ugly spider. I have nightmares about it sometimes. Okay, I just uh, stopped off at my home station and I'm on the way home. There's a big gap between the, uh, the last clip and this clip. Uh, in Ropongi Hills, I, uh, I stopped at a bar called Heartland, which is on the ground floor of Ropongi Hills. And uh, it's, a, it's a bar where a lot of uh, foreigners go. And I stayed there for a couple hours. It's what, uh, it's like 1225. And uh, let's see, I talked to a woman named Natasha from Russia for a, bunch, for a long time. And uh, I struck out, which was good because, you know, I'm married, I'm supposed to strike out. So we talked for a long time, had a good conversation. And then um, at the end of the conversation, she said, well, it was nice knowing you have a good life and goodbye. And I was happy with that because it's good to strike out when you're married. You know, it's, you're supposed to strike out. So. Um, so that was my night at Rapungi. I wish I had been able to um, video something about, you know, in, in Heartland just to show you what it was like or something like that. So I talked to Natasha and I talked to a guy named um, 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 Jaime, who's Panamanian from, from New York, and I told him about my podcast, so he's going to check out the podcast. Hi, Jaime. Nice talking to you. And um, talked to a bunch of other people, so it was a good time. But uh, so I couldn't share it with you. So anyway, that's the end of the, the uh, video cast for tonight. And I'm going to go home and uh, go to bed. So I um, hope you like the mailbox because that was pretty much the only thing that <laughs> there was of any interest tonight. So that's all. Good night.